Okay, I might get my motor pulley today, but I'm running a six back here on this transmission, and it's a deep pulley, and I thought I'm gonna get the same type of setup to go in the motor. Uh, would have got it the other day, but the uh, tractor supply I was at was out of the one-inch arbors. So anyway, I need a one-inch arbor. And uh, thinking about going with a uh, with an eight-inch pulley. Uh, I don't know how well y'all can see. Uh, maybe I should have got some more light, but anyway. This is a six inch pulley on here. And it looks like I got enough room to run an eight inch. Uh, that's a six inch over there. I was thinking about going an eight to six. Uh, I don't see where to give me any trouble. Uh, if I do. And uh, looks like back there everything's cool. Now I'm trying to think of how it's going to look with a you know, that splicer in there, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of difference. It, it should have room for it all. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to get all my ducks in a row before I start on this, you know, swapping out transmissions. But, uh, and I would need to get uh, my motor pulley. And hoping I'll have a, <coughs> a belt that'll work, but I might have to wait just a teeny bit longer on the belt. But anyway, just kind of an update. I know it's, hopefully y'all can see good enough in this video, but, uh, there, that's that side of it. I mean, it, it looks like there's plenty of room, and they don't like anything on the interfere. Uh, there, that's that side. It's a little, uh, overcast out today, and I'm not getting the best lighting. I could bring a trouble light out here, I guess, but, uh. Uh, hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah. If it can come out, I'll take another video and do a retake on it. But uh, anyway, just to update on Big Ugly. Yeah. Uh, wondering if I'll make me a heat shield or find me a heat shield for that muffler. Uh. I guess it's far enough away from the motor and all. And the heat should get out of the way okay. But originally, you know, it probably had a heat shield. Anyway, I had to see where I had to cut out the frame to get that rascal in there. It was just a teeny bit narrower. But uh, it worked. Worked out good. Worked out good. Might take my grinder and come along here and cut a little bit. Just so it don't rattle. I might do that. I might do that right now. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about it. Nah, I'll get it later, but, uh, anyway, I still got to, uh, work out an issue I got. I believe, uh, one of these arms here, especially this one, is bent. Pitman, uh, arm or whatever you want to call it, uh, is bent on a spindle. But, uh, I'm thinking about doing time joints from here to there and uh yeah um I don't know if I want to use these rods I already got and maybe cut them and get it die and have some threads put on them or or what but I I, I need it need it adjustable but uh Anyway, that's something I have to work out later. Um, I might just bend one of these rods if I can and see if I can straighten that out for now. Or we'll bend this. But anyway, alright y'all. More to come. Oh, and you can see how I did uh, the wells on my bumper. It's notched into there, so it's a lot stronger. And that's the way I did uh, one on Big Ugly also. Not not Big Ugly, uh, Red Eye. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, these tires will be coming off of here. And uh, 
I gotta remove this deck lever. He's got it. The fella that had it's got it wire tied off right there. Dang it. <laughs> uh, once I get that transmission out of there, I'll have more room. I'm hoping just to leave the tank in there to work on that. But uh, we'll see. Anyway. More to come, y'all. On the next video. I'm going to call this a video. But I just want to get y'all's opinion. I pretty much made up my mind. I could go with an 8 or a 6. No problem. But just kind of showing y'all where I'm at. and Get you maybe some opinions. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Just a little short uh, update. But uh, now that I got a transmission, things are coming along.